Now let's talk about the pipeline. A pipeline is a series of commands connected by pipeline operator and each pipeline operator sends the result of preceding command to the next command. The output of first command can be sent for processing as input to the second command and that output can be sent to yet another command. The result is a complex command chain or pipeline that is composed of series of simple commands. So let's see an example for this. Go to the PowerShell command prompt and let us use get process commandlet here. Get process. The get process commandlet gets the process on a local or remote computer and without parameter this commandlet gets all the process on the local computer. Hit enter and you can see all the local process running on the computer. So let's look for a specific process. I have notepad open so let's look for notepad process. So now give the process name let's say notepad. Hit enter and here you can see it has only written the notepad process. Now let's try to stop this process and for that we can take help of stop process commandlet here. Stop process. The stop process commandlet stops one or more running processes. So we are stopping the notepad process here. Hit enter. And here you can see the notepad process has been stopped. Here the first command uses the get process commandlet to get an object representing the notepad process and it uses a pipeline operator to send process object to the stop process commandlet which stops the notepad process. Notice that the stop process commandlet does not have name or ID parameter to specify the process because the specified process is submitted through the pipeline.